All right. Let's see about doing this thing here. Howdy, how was your trip? I'm glad you got here this quickly. The situation has become quite desperate. No, we're not going to read the whole thing that way. <laughs> so this is Varied Corporation. Uh, and we're at level 11, I think, out of the campaign. And uh, this is where I left off when I started playing this game probably, shoot, a year or two ago. But we've got to... Uh, this is a kind of challenging scenario where you've got to, like, move different uh, bits of cargo, I guess, for lack of a better term, across the map. Uh, and pretty dynamically, it changes over time. So I've got uh, my company, the Goat Northern, naturally, um, out of here. And there's water in Waco and Shreveport. And we've got to get it and bring it back here to, I guess, Mr. Eagle. Anyway. Welcome everyone to the stream. I'll pause now so that we don't run out of time or money or anything. Mr. Naterix, thank you. Thank you for being a ASD train crew member. Plenty Sticks as well, and Northern Isle. So, welcome, welcome. Loco Plays, how am I doing? Um, I am still dead. I had a show with my rock band last night, and I... <laughs> I am always exhausted the day after, so... Anyway, let's see if we can't figure this thing out. All right, so there's no there's no towns really to connect to uh, right away to get product moving for money, unless water gets us money. So I guess we'll see there. So let's start doing our little bit of a railroad here. Do we want to have the bridge all the way? 38,000 or... I guess it doesn't make a difference, but then the grade gets ridiculous if we do that. Oh, that station's up kind of on a cliff. Oh, I see how it is. So we want to make a longer bridge. The track lighting system in this game is actually really cool. But a longer bridge might be a little bit more expensive. Oh, it's actually even cheaper. Well, look at that. Well, we'll just do that. What's my favorite locomotive? I don't know if I have like a specific singular favorite. Who needs sleep anyways? <laughs> so hopefully I'll have a video tomorrow. Yes, no, I'm, I just filmed an episode of Train Sim World where we uh, <laughs> have some fun at the expense of the, uh, the residents of Liverpool, I think. Uh, <laughs> and it, it was a it was a bunch of fun. It'll it'll be uh, about a thirty minute video. Oh good heavens, that thing takes off like a bat out of hell! Look at that. It feels like the game's a little quiet compared to the uh, compared to the music. So I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. I guess the music could come down a smidge even. All right, let me know if that audio balance sounds a little better here. You ordered an ESD mug a few days ago. You don't regret the purchase. Beautiful, thank you. Did I push it off a cliff for it to go that fast? I mean, normally that's what you'd have to do, yeah. CS Railway Society updated to ESD conductor. Oh god, now you get to see all the behind the scenes stuff. There's nothing that I've put of you in there yet. I thought about putting the uh, the one clip in there, but <laughs> Which reminds me, we, uh, we actually need to film our next video. Maybe tomorrow? If you're free. You have an account on your PC called NKP756. Very cool. All right, let's see. Hopefully the water gives us money. It says it gives us money, but... It does not actually appear to give us money directly. Hey, choose, Mr. Nigeric. Thank you for the top chat. Thanks for listening to your suggestion about the game, of course. I always try to take everyone's feedback in and, and uh, you know, play what people want to see. But, you know, that's also good for me. And I've, it's been a long time since I've really played this game, and it was pretty fun, so... Not too hard of a, a decision on my end, so thanks for the suggestion. Alright, 
Let's, uh, let's connect up to Dallas up here. And we'll talk about the nuances of the way that they lay track in a minute here, but get that built. And now we'll get our other train running passengers between the two towns, I think. So I select the locomotive, and then I go to the town and I grab loads that, and we'll just set the unload as well right now, so that when we get there, we'll just already do its thing. There we go. So it's going to have to wait for the other train to clear the line, but we're running water back to uh, Mr. Eagle's Ranch and Corn Trail. And you will laugh. Good. Tomorrow works. Sounds good. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Looks like a higher poly version of Railroad Tycoon 2. Um, kind of. I think it's quite different than Railroad Tycoon. Hey, Thomas. Thank you for jumping in. Thank you for being an ESD train crew member. 65 barrels of water. So, like, the what I recall from this scenario, it was frustrating. Um, the water runs out, and you need to keep, like, continuously supplying water, or else you fail kind of thing happens. And, uh, yeah, we are not doing great in the money department, but hopefully the, uh, the passenger train with uh, our second Jervis will do us well. I can't remember with the campaign if it lets you research continuously. No, okay, so I don't have... A research department. I'm gonna have to upgrade my office to research some more. Um, but I should have all of the researched things that I started with. And look at this cute little train. God, and that thing scoots. Although it doesn't chuff, but you know it's fine. N nor does the uh, <laughs> the rods aren't animated by the look of it. That's fine. I don't know if I can zoom in any closer than that. Have we had an ESD moment? Not yet. We might, uh, I don't know. I, I was kind of also halfway thinking about playing Deerell Valley. So if, uh, if folks would like to see that for the ESD moments, let me know. We might shift over to that at some point. What time is it for me? It is 9.17 TRR Railroad. Packing up stuff to move house. Yeah, uh, don't remind me. I have to do that too. <laughs> What kind of locomotives are these? Uh, this is called the 420 Jervis in the game, but I'm not entirely certain if that is the real title of it or not. Where do we buy trains over here? I have, it looks like I have everything unlocked, but we've got a bogey. We've got the 280 that's actually a three foot gauge 280 that they scaled up, which looks hilarious. We'll have to buy one of those at some point. Mogul, Forney, the American, the Memnon, which was a, an actual early b and locomotive, I think. An 080, it's a, that's a weird looking engine, but it's got a lot of power. And then the Jervis is what we have. I'm not sure what it's actually called. Dewitt Clinton and John Bull were actually really the real names of those locomotives. So, I don't know, maybe that is the Jervis, but... Are called a Jervis after their creator. Oh, also calls Cramptons. Well, that's fun. Uh, I'm not on Colorado Mountain Time yet. I am still on West Coast Seattle Time. I moved to Colorado in August. Interesting. I had no idea that a 420 was called a Jervis, but the amount of 420s I've dealt with in my <laughs> limited railroad experience is kind of uh, non-existent. So, looks like our passenger train is making us some good money, though, which is good. Void train? No, I've not tried that. That actually sounds kind of neat. After John B. Jervis. Huh. Mini Celeste. I don't know if I've seen you in chat yet. Welcome. Thank you for being an ESD Brakeman. Let's see. What else can we move here? Is there anything easy to connect to? Tool factory and an ore mine that are kind of close. Coal mine there. So we have the materials for steel. And we do have a steel mill at the other end of our alignment. That's not the easiest or uh, most helpful line at the moment to create, but it might be the one to do, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. 
And we are doing the good water run with the Jervis. Yeah, we might... Um... Oh, that's right. With uh, with all the different research, there's other things like fun contracts to do. So Eagleton, or Eagle Town, sorry, wants grain. And it, they'll pay you that much money if you deliver eight carriages in 202 days if you sign that. And if you fail, you get penalized. But they are on the other side of the map. And uh, yeah, we're probably not going to be able to do that. So we're not going to worry about that. Just top off train sim running the 4,000. Very good. Getting some practice in, huh, Mr. Real Engineer? <laughs> Early evening. Yeah, Jeff, I'm, I'm trying to do... Uh, I, I got some feedback that folks would like to try and see some earlier stuff. So I was trying to accommodate that the best I could. So that's uh, always, always a challenge, but particularly with uh, how things are going as of late. But it'll get easier soon enough. Where's the other location that had water that it said? Watersville, Waco, Shreveport, and Galveston. Okay, well, Shreveport is in Louisiana, so it should be over Hearsville somewhere. Ooh, there's another railroad over there. Okay. Got some AI going on. Isn't Shreveport in? Oh, there's Galveston, so that's Houston. Oh, were we not facing north-south? I don't think we were facing north-south. There's Shreveport. Okay. All those places are very far away. <laughs> we're connected to Waco for now. <laughs> yeah, the amount of water that they have will, will last for a minute here. Is this like Railroad Tycoon 3? Kind of. Early steam locomotives are weird. Hey, Maker 24. Cheers. Welcome. Thank you for being an ESD train crew member. Am I going to be doing a house tour when I get to Colorado? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe for the ESD conductors. Look, I have a bathroom. It has a toilet in it. That's exciting. I'm not sure what what else you'd be looking for on a uh, my house tour. You know what we'll do? We'll we'll connect to the coal mine, and then we can get one more train running that uh, that gets coal going. That's what we'll do. So one of the cool things with the track laying of this game is that your segment length plays into a lot of different things that are really important. So if I lay, let's lay a, a short segment piece like this. You can see we got a 3% grade there. 3% grade. Bang. Okay, well, what was the, what's the cost going to be? 8,200. Soil excavations that much. Rails that much. Okay, well now let's kind of lay the same overall shape, but just straight one piece. The soil excavation is huge comparatively it makes the track a lot more expensive because it is dynamically saying okay well we'll make the smoothest grade between these two points and then deal with whatever the ground does underneath so you really have to have the appropriate segment lengths going on here um to get the best cost and also not deal with the uh the fun grade changes so it's actually kind of a really neat system that they've input in this game <laughs> and when you put a point right there, apparently we're uh, we're falling off a cliff here. So we might might just have a huge trestle, I guess. But apparently the bridges are really not that expensive compared to moving dirt, which in this era would probably be extremely cheap, actually. But whatever. <laughs> and then you can see after the fact, once it's laid, that there's uh, been a nice cut put in place. And at each segment point, that's where signals can be. So if you want blocks of trains following trains, you actually have to have those short pieces to actually run, uh, you know, different length like, segments and have trains following trains. So, it's fun. I played Transport Fever uh, very briefly, and I refunded it when I didn't realize it was multiplayer, but I think we'll play it for the channel now. Jordan Perkins, welcome, and thank you for being an ESD brakeman. Or uh, train crew, sorry. Um, and <laughs> you pee watching my videos too much and they derailed two trains. Ouch. Well, I mean, that's... I mean, it's not the name of the game, but it's a reality of railroading that that stuff happens. So, yes, and D moments, man. Toilets are good. We'll be able to do more filming at the museum when I work there? Yeah, no, for sure. That's... That's going to be a big selling point of the of the gig is that I'll be able to do more of that stuff and get to show you guys some more stuff. 
not quite to the th mythical 30 that we need, but um, <laughs> what locomotive do we have money for? Uh, pff, not even a Jervis. Well, we'll try and buy another Jervis and uh, try and make a little bit more money here. Is our passenger train keeping up with demand, more or less? Looks like it is. Okay, we'll buy that Jervis, and we're going to... <laughs> well, if we have four cars, we can only do 16 miles an hour. So I think we'll do 62 instead. I think that's a, a good trade-off. And we'll run to Waco for now with this coal. Oh, shoot. You know, I really could have just added this as an extra route for this guy and made it haul the water and then deposit it on the way back. But it's almost done hauling the 30, and we'll, I guess we'll see what that does. So we'll, we'll figure it out from there. We may end up changing that, but right now I'm just trying to get profit. So having it run light at a million miles an hour, which it's apparently capable of. 85, good heavens. Um, that might be the vibe. We be gone. Welcome. Thank you for being an ESD train crew member. Am I bringing the judge with you when I move out? It's not a judge. It's a 68. The judge came out in 69. <laughs> but yes, I will be bringing the GTO. Thank you. Bit of DRL value would be nice. Okay, good. Well, let's see. TF2 multiplayer. God, it's been a minute since we played TF2. It'd be fun to do another night like that in the server. I think um, tomorrow night we might watch a, a, watch a movie in the Discord. I've been wanting to rewatch Emperor of the North, which is a, a great train film. So that'd be fun to watch with everyone in the in the Discord here. So if you haven't joined the Discord, the link in the description. We might uh, we might do that tomorrow night. We'll see. I'll try and uh, I'll try and announce a time uh, sometime tomorrow if we're gonna do that. <laughs> Downloading Road Tycoon Three. Very nice, Justin. And I'm not gonna comment on the rest of your statement. Hey, Ryan Rail, welcome. Thank you for being a new Cindy train crew. And look at that saw by. Good heavens. All right. There it goes. I'm a Pontiac guy. We begun. Yes, I, I am the proud owner of a 1968 GTO. I wasn't a Pontiac guy, really. I thought the GTOs were cool. Make sure we always have enough water. Next, next move is to start stocking grain and a lot of it. Okay. So keep water in storage. So we have to keep enough water in so I guess we're just gonna yeah that's right this is the challenge of it okay we have 17 more water which means that at some point we're gonna have to get another water train set oh the water trains actually cost us money to run but we have water at Dallas now thankfully so we'll, we'll try and figure that out but Our amount available will decrease with time. Oh wow! Okay, so the water will will fade away. That's gonna be a that'll be a a thing. <laughs> Apparently, Dusty's watching. If uh, I'm reading my text right, watch watch my curve radius. I don't know what the uh, what is the sharpest curve radius we can get. Is that a proper Uintaism? Someone do some math with the track gauge. That looks worse than anything the Uinta would have had. <laughs> but apparently you can do 16 miles an hour around it. Someone snipshot this in paint. That's, you know, four foot eight and a half right there at the point, uh, you know, at the gauge. How big is that semicircle? <laughs> we could figure out the degree of curvature. That's the sharpest the game allows. <laughs> God, yeah, the water does get consumed pretty quickly. But now we got to get grain there. I don't even know where the nearest grain is. Uh, let's see. Demanding grain, demanding grain. But where is it supplied? Okay, there's a wheat field over there in Tishimongo. Tishimingo? That's a town name. Yeah, I guess we could run a, run a track there, and that would be part of our alignment and it would allow us to do a little bit more but heck we'd we would like to make a little bit more money first i think yeah this is um getting a little spendy so what i'm gonna do is we're going to make the train go pick up coal at brady and we'll have it unload at waco as well 
So we're going to double up on our coal trains, which will probably saturate Waco pretty quick. But uh, we should be able to supply everything relatively quickly there. And goodness, we're almost out of water there. So that's annoying. And you're... What are you waiting for? Cargo is loading. Oh, it's still waiting for passengers. Okay. Five passengers at a time is probably too many. So we'll just do four. And hopefully we didn't break it. <laughs> big blocker bust. Jeff, the Pontiacs have a block. They don't have a big block or a small block. They're all the same. You've got a 90, 97 Firebird formula. Awesome. I'll have to bring it to the Golden Cruise when I'm here. Dude, that is in the plan. I've heard of the Iowa Interstate. Yes, the QJs. Yeah, I've heard of those. Train set curves. It's a Mark. It's a Michael. Howdy. All right. Yes, give me dollars. Please, we need them. Dusty is watching. Uh, now I have to watch stream chat and my text messages. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't remember. He's saying that the Uinta Railway's tightest curve was he believed best, uh, less than the turntable pit's radius, which isn't quite right. I don't think the, uh, the tightest radius curve I can recall was Moron's Castle, which was sh uh, widened to a 66 degree. I don't remember what it was before. It was something like 87 degree. And the only figure I can remember off the top of my head is 66 degrees, 180 foot. So the radius of the curve is 90 foot, which is almost the, uh, the size of the museum's turntable, which is still ridiculous regardless. But anyway, you saw GTO wagon yesterday, Dust. They never actually made a GTO wagon, but they did make Le Mans wagons. And people have turned them into GTO wagons, which, I mean, that's a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a vibe for sure. Okay. Well, I guess what is the the best move? The best move is making more money with our existing network. So we're going to buy another Jervis and we're going to haul more coal, but this time we're going to haul it to Dallas. And there is nothing really that we can take on the way back that's worth it. I guess no, hang on, we could take water from Dallas and we'll and we'll drop the water off at the, the ranch here. That'll be the move. Okay. 96 Pathfinder. Nice. <laughs> You'll never be a Pontiac guy. No big blocks. The, 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 the big block is the big block. I mean, they didn't have a small block is really what it is because they had a 455 uh, available out of the block. So. Khan's also named Mark. That's right. That is funny. A 1974 Dodge Power Wagon. I could buy the Reading Railroad. Probably not. Probably not. All right, coal train running. We're probably gonna need another passing track, but we don't have any money, so I guess we'll just suffer for now. Although we should probably set up the uh, this pass track with some signals here. Split, spin that that way. Spin that that way. Bang. So now they're one-way logic. That's really the only signaling you can do. They automatically place the semaphores based on your spline link. But uh, you can set directions on each one, so. Don't want to race for pinks. God, no. My car is not fast. It is old, and it probably needs the engine gone through. <laughs> Where's my Bandit Trans Am? Dude, uh, I would love to have a Bandit Trans Am. Those are great cars. Man, the water is just disappearing. Yeah, I remember this scenario being really hard. So we're gonna have to get some more, uh, gotta get some more trains running. And we also gotta start supplying the, uh, the grain, but we need to make some money first. Actually, the real secret is I need to make enough money to expand my office to get a, um, the finance department going, but I need 10 grand to do that, so. I should have done that to start, I think, but I didn't, so. <laughs> Dream car is a 69 Charger. 
but most likely not going to happen since they skyrocketed, skyrocketed in price. Yeah, me too, man. My number one favorite car is the 68-69 Charger. I, I'm a little preferential to the 69 as well. But, uh, yeah, no, they got so expensive. Uh, and the GTO, 68-69 GTO is my second favorite. And when I came across mine for the price it was, uh, yeah, no, I, I made it happen because, yeah, <laughs> they, don't, they don't come up that cheap that often. All right, we got a little cat. No, no, no. Smart brain, don't lay the passing track. That's exciting. Upgrade the office so that we can get the finance department. Let's see. Finance, still need eight grand. Oh, we could take an overdraft for it. Okay, so we can uh, <laughs> use future me's money to get stuff now. So we'll get a bond going. 150K, pay it back in a year. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Take a 68 dart as well, it'd be cool. 68 chargers. They, the bullet taillights are cool. I don't know. I really I really do like the, the bar taillights that they've maintained in the modern styling, too. I think those. I think they're both cool. I could see arguments for either, honestly. All right, another passing track there, so we're going to be set up for a little bit more traffic. <laughs> the two of hazard jumping them over the train. We are losing water very quickly, which is really annoying uh, and it's probably because we no longer have any water here and this choo-choo is still waiting to load water so we will send it on its way and it is no longer going to go to Waco it will go to Dallas to load water so corn trail unload water load the coal go to Dallas unload the coal pick up water okay that Choo Choo's almost dead though, so we need to upgrade the station and get a repair shop going. And we're gonna tell Train 1 when he gets there to go to service so that he'll get maintained because, oh yeah. Well, great, you're gonna tie up my main, you butthole. You and your one water car. Man, that thing's got brakes. <laughs> yeah, so, um,. The locomotives have age and mileage limits, and we've been approaching the, the mileage limit, so its reliability's gone down. It's kind of cool. 327 Shelby. Oh, that's cool. Crown Vix. You like Holden's, though? Oh, yeah, Holden's got some badass stuff. Do you have any specific plans for the Great Western Steam Up? No, I'm going to be there the whole time. I'm going to bring cameras, and uh, I have some friends that are on cruise for things but um my whole mantra with almost everything that i do like as far as like being a part of other steam stuff is you never ask but you never say no so i'm not gonna ask anyone like hey can i be on your crew or hey can i come up in the cab that that's just not what you do that's it's just not the way that things are done and, but if anyone says, hey, come up in the cab of this engine, whatever, oh, yeah, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> so, oh, Sherman's got water now. Okay. Well, I guess that'll be our next spot. Let's connect to Sherman, and then we'll connect beyond it to the grain field. And we'll start running some trains that way. Oh, this is... Okay, well, we can make... The world's worst cut, probably. Cut and fill. Yeah, it's, that's a pretty large cut, but it keeps the grade down. Okay. <laughs> so now, now <laughs> that's such a long run, though. We're going to need so many trains. All right, let's, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll price out. We'll probably have to stick with the Jervis for a minute, but we'll price that out in a minute. Let's get 56 is probably fine. Uh, yeah, they, sometimes the collision mechanics on the uh, passing tracks can be quite frustrating. That's fine. That'll look nice. Okay. Do we want a single line railroad through there? It's not a terribly good place to put a pass track, but I guess we could do a, a quick one right, right on this side here. Bang, bang. That's good. 53. We can live with that. Okay. 
And now a choo-choo. What, what do we have money for? I think the American goes really fast with a pretty good amount of tonnage. So maybe we'll do the American. What is our water situation? Is it just absolutely horrid? Yeah, it's not great. So I guess we'll have it run water for now. Oh, that's wheat. Come on. What are you doing? Wrong buttons. Grab the water there. Oh, and we can we can bring five cars with that thing. That's awesome. Okay, we'll bring the five cars of water. Run there. And when we come back to Waco, we've got a passenger train running that's eating up everything that, that can produce. Train two broke. Well, that's great. So, yeah, I guess it'll just run light back. That kind of sucks, but oh well. <laughs> well, happy to have you stick around, Thomas. All right, train one is in maintenance for the next six years, apparently. Train two is dead somewhere. God, yeah, the Jervis does not <laughs> does not stay maintained. I guess uh, Dallas is probably a decent shop or a place for a repair shop. So we will send the passenger train in for service. We got that big bond. We gotta, we gotta get some trains that are making more money soon too. You know what? We will buy another Jervis because that's all we can afford, and we will run wheat trains to Sherman just to get some amount of money going. Sounds like everything is due on the fourteen seventy two. Just about. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're all stuck behind the, the sad passenger train. Welcome, everyone. Come on, get on with it. Uh-oh, overdraft. That's not good. The one train that was making money stopped. <laughs> oh, maximum overdraft is allowed at 200,000, though. Okay. It's usually only 50 grand, and then you, like, auto-lose. So, not quite there yet. All right. The one train that makes money, and now it's done. Well, actually, it's not the one train that makes money. We've A couple of these actually make some amount of money, too. But <laughs> That one's out of service for a minute. This one ma makes money on one leg of its journey, but yeah. Got a 1472 coming up for your steamer this winter. Well, Godspeed. That's a, it's a lot of work and a lot of time coming up. Three forty six pretty much just went down for its 1472. Not not that uh, three forty six is not governed by FRA requirements, so it doesn't actually have a 1472. But fifteen year rebuild. It was last rebuilt 2007. So. She's out of service and the tubes are coming out. So, <laughs> we miss Grandma. That's the first engine I got to run. So, I'm excited that I'm going to be able to help the guys get it back put together. So, that's going to be cool. <laughs> I think you lose if you, if you get to zero water, too. Or maybe you don't know. You get a reward if you keep it in stock. Maybe that's all it is. I don't know. Yes, I hear you, Dusty, but I didn't think I'd announce that on a stream. <laughs> All right, let's see. First grain train. Yes, someone make me money. We're we're twenty two grand in the hole. Uh, there's our American. You know, I thought they had animated wheels, and I'm not sure what's going on or if something changed that has no wheels going on. So. <laughs> the rods are just not doing anything and that's kind of cursed I thought that they animated before maybe maybe they never did and I'm just hallucinating but why would 346 not have a 1472 uh, it's not under FRA requirements 1472 day inspection is the FRA requirement for maintenance of steam engines and the museum is an insular operation so they are not subject to FRA regulation 
That said, we follow pretty much every FRA uh, regulation as much as we can because they're a great set of standards to follow. It's just that we're not required to. We get certified by the state of Colorado instead. Jimmy, I will throw a lime at you. <laughs> Could something make some money? <laughs> I'm going to have to take a loan out, I think. And loans are actually really smart in this game where you have to take them out based on assets. So you have to give the security for it, but it, it only gives you the amount of whatever the thing's worth. So, like, <laughs> I don't have any assets that are really worth much. So... We're just in the hole. This kind of sucks. This thing could, like, if we could get this thing out of the shop. I guess we could pivot and make something else pull something. We could run passengers with a different train. Reschedule one of them. Brady to Waco. Let's see. How are we doing in Dallas? There's still some water. Is there any trains we want to reschedule? Train 4. Train 4 and Train 1 are actually like doing the same exact schedule now. So I'm going to tell it, rather than load the water, I'm going to tell Train... Actually, by the time it gets there, Train 2 is going to be back up and running. There's no difference. All right, just keep, just keep it on, keep it on. All right. This game has a disturbing lack of peacock moments. Yes, bacon, it does. <laughs> Cheers and thank you for being an ESD breakman. How much debt, man? Uh, sixty thousand dollars. Good day, Ashley Taylor. You're welcome. And Dusty, that's not Jeff's wife. I asked once already. Thank you for being a. Uh, ES and D train crew member as well. Mr. Nitirix, a lime emote. <laughs> we could do a lime emote. There was a, there's a hilarious story that goes with the lime, but I'm not at liberty to, to say on stream I don't think about where the lime comes from. A Penn Central emote for bankruptcy. That would be pretty good. We, we, this game, this scenario sucks. This one's really hard. This is why I, I stopped playing after this scenario. I ran out of time and it was like, this is just hard. And we're still not keeping the water in stock. Well, the passenger train's running again, though, so it should theoretically uh, make some amount of money, hopefully. <laughs> now give it the beans. I'm afraid we won't, you won't be making any railroads online videos for four or five weeks. Well, it'll probably be a minute before there's more stuff to, to make videos about. I think, um, I, I mean, I no longer can officially speak for the game, of course, as everyone knows. But QMA is hoping to have the spline update done pretty quick here, so I won't give an official timeline or anything because I, look, I can't. He he told us some stuff, but it would be rude of me to then publicly announce what uh, <laughs> what tentative timeline he had when it's not my job to do anymore. So, but he's thinking it'll be you know relatively soon. So weeks, not months. Put it that way. You're not able to float some kind of cash with all that water. No, so the, the it's the water's a scenario thing. Uh, so you actually have to pay to get the water, and then I don't think it pays you anything to then get it uh, delivered. I don't think the trains make any money when they deliver it. So. Oh, gotcha. <sighs> Dallas is almost out of water, though. <laughs> so I'm going to have to have the trains run to Sherman instead. Gotta get 30 grain. Dal da Dallas is almost done. Sherman has some, but Galveston and Shreve I mean, Shreveport's not even worth connecting to. But Galveston, I mean, that's still so far away. That's a long stretch of nothing on the railroad. Taylor Mill, 
Skittles, welcome and thank you for joining the ESD train crew. Okay. How are we how is the oh we are oversupplying just about, so we're gonna have it not go to Sherman, but we're gonna have it run to Dallas instead. And it'll unload the grain at Dallas. Save the change, yes. Train six. Tishu Tishu Tisho Mongo Tisho Mingo? Tisho Mingo. Uh to Dallas. Load the grain, unload the grain. I keep calling it grain, but it's wheat, whatever. Well no, it's a wheat field, but then they call it grain as the cargo. Okay, whatever. Details. Trains make money, won't that cause inflation, right? Brady now demands grain and wood. Well, that's very helpful. If only there were easy places to get any of those things. Or other towns that want passengers. <laughs> we, we've been operating in the red for like the past 15 minutes. And there's just not, there's no real way to get out of it. We've got another half year on our big loan, big bond, sorry, and we can't take another one until we repay that one. <sighs> yeah. And the interest alone is, is hurting us, so it's uh, not an easy life right now. I do kind of like that it zooms out. It gives you the little line indication of where your railroad is. You zoom out, it's nice. Penn Central speed run. The problem is, I mean, we've really only got that one grain train and that one passenger train. Oh my god, we're in the black! For two seconds. Just wait, now it'll disappear again. <laughs> we need like 30 grand to be able to do anything. Oh, we're out of water in Dallas. Well, it loaded two things of water. I guess it'll go and unload them. How are our trains doing? Train three and four are coming up on... Oh, four is like overdue for maintenance already. It's heading to Dallas right now. We're going to tell it to service in Dallas. Train three is unloading coal at Waco. Oh, Waco's plum full of coal. That would explain that. So we can tell it to not do either of those things, and we could tell it to go to accept textiles. Well, that's interesting. Tell it to go to Sherman and unload coal, and then we'll tell it to go to Dallas and get serviced after that, I guess. Because I don't think it'll make it all the way down the main without clogging things up. So, speed and power. You'd like to see a game along those lines where you have to build yards and switch cars. I think that would be intensely enjoyable. I agree. That'd be a cool idea. Howdy, everyone's joining. What about the Rock Island? <laughs> God, we're all stacked up at the signal, huh? So we're basically going to have two trains that are out of service here. What is the train? What is. Why is train five running to Tishimongo at all? Or Tiso Mingo, sorry. We should just have it go to Sherman. Go to Sherman, pick up water, go home. That one's doing that route. Six and now Sherman's kind of. We'll uh we'll make it alternate. That's what we'll do. So we'll add Tisha Mingo. Tisha Mingo. Yes, it's a hard name. It's kind of weird. And then have it uh, unload at Sherman again. So it's gonna 
go from Tisho Mingo, Dallas, Tisho Mingo, Sherman, and it'll alternate between those. It's probably the best move. But yeah, these, <laughs> these trains are costing us a lot of money is the problem. We need more money makers, and there's just not really money makers to have. I think we need to tee into Fort Worth here and start making some other products to haul, but that's going to be another another couple trains to get going. And how do we want to build a Y? Cheaply is the answer, so we'll probably just tie in right there and suffer with whatever it is. All right. Come in and couple it like that. Kabang. And then I guess we can put the other leg of the Y in here. And then if we feel spicy, we can put a, a crossover in at some point. But we'll make this uh, dual direction track through there. And that can all be that singular direction track. Okay. Buy a locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> we have enough money for an American, so we'll waste all of our money on that. Uh, so we can actually haul an appreciable amount of cars. And then we'll haul that appreciable amount of cars to Fort Worth. We'll let it run once, and then we'll uh, probably assign it to pick up meat and bring it back to Dallas on the way back or something. But we're going to haul that grain for now. Have we run out of water yet? Not quite. It's working on it, though. <laughs> Museum in Altoona has a hump yard simulator on the third floor. That's fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, was that Andrew? The mistake of going to Dallas first. <laughs> What's the best train sim? I don't know. Train Sim World 2 does some stuff pretty well. And some of the add-ons for Train Sim Classic do pretty nice. Uh, Run 8 is theoretically really good these days, but I haven't tried it in a minute. Thank you for maintenance. Okay. Still running. Stealing the passengers. Oh, we've got mail as an option now. Where is Train 2? We'll, uh, we'll have it unload the four cars in, in Waco. He says, removing an unloadable car. And we'll have it pick up... God, ma mail cars are absurdly heavy for reasons. We'll have it run four and then one, I think. So, yeah. And then we'll have it unload mail. Load, unload... And then we cut it both to three and four. That should work. So when train two leaves, it should be leaving with four passengers, or three passengers and a mail car. It's my favorite thing in Train Sim World 2. Uh, the, the new Steam add-on. The simulation of Steam chest pressure is actually really good. Run 8's graphics are crap. That's fair. At least last time I played it, but... I haven't played it in probably almost 10 years. <laughs> and Plenty of Sticks is right. It just kind of depends on what you want to play. Cheers, Mr. Naturix. Thank you. Have a good night. Overdraft is back in. Train 2 is making us some cash. But where's that big grain train? There it is. Our 440 on the point. I swear they had animated wheels before. Deer Rail Valley. Oh yeah, well it'd be fun to play Deer Rail Valley. Uh, we might change to that in a in a bit here. I'd like to try and get a little further along in this scenario though. <laughs> before MSTS, when there was a rather limited selection, was there anything before MSTS? I feel like MSTS was the birth of the genre. Alright, I'm gonna extend my dual track main all the way to the station here, I think. 
and we'll get rid of the crossover. And we won't double track the bridge, but that'll make it a little easier to run some multi-train ops, because I want, I want to get a second train just running mail between these towns to get a little bit of money going, but... Dave Guerra? Guerra? Not 100% sure how to pronounce that, sorry. Welcome to the SD train crew. Thank you for joining the channel. MSCS is the good old days. It was. It was the birth. Yeah. Yeah, pity about MSTS too. We're still we're all still bummed about that. I remember seeing their shots of the K4 or whatever it was like in production it was like oh my god they're gonna do American Steam I remember being disappointed about that as a kid <laughs> being refueled what is it doing what's our water situation not good Ugh. we're gonna need another train just to get water going we're gonna need another location with water though Sherman Fort Worth Fort Worth, that's near Dallas. I knew that. Oh, cool. All right. Well, I guess we'll build that crossover then. It sounds like we're bu sounds like we're buying some trains. <laughs> All right, crossover, bang. All right. And we need to have that be a unidirectional track. That that way, so trains can go either way. And it sounds like we are going to buy a couple choo choos here. <laughs> and I guess one of them is just going to be a Jervis, just because that's the vibe that we are living with right now. Three cars of water, but more frequent, hopefully. All right, do that. Looks like the rest of the trains are doing okay on maintenance. Oh, really, Andrew? I didn't know that. That's cool. Hey, cheers, Dave. Grain is worth its weight in gold. It's not for him to own all the wheat fields and farms. Now. He's raising grain prices. Okay. Scenario things are happening. I'm just trying to make some amount of money right now, and it's not going well. I'm going to buy an American, though. Uh, do I? Do I buy another engine? Now, where's our big grain train? It's train six. No, it's not train six. Oh, Dallas no longer demands. <laughs> Just have it go there. Have it unload at Sherman, I guess, because we can no longer have it unload at Dallas. <laughs> okay. That's one of the challenging things of this, is that all of a sudden the, uh, the demands will change and it throws everything off. All right, so this thing's going to run to Fort Worth. Then we're going to have it load up with beef. It's going to carry the beef. I guess we'll do maybe six cars of beef, and we'll run that six cars of beef to Dallas. Howdy, everyone. Howdy, Leo. Thank you for being an ESD Troin crew member. Howdy from the UK. Good morning, Rob. How much time to the load needs to be paid? Good question. 34 days. Yeah, we're going to have to... That's going to be a setback pretty quick here. <laughs> Dallas has denied me. Yeah, what else is new? Good evening and mornings and afternoons, everyone. <laughs> it's uh, it's only 10 o'clock here in Seattle. Mm, that needs to be paid. <laughs> All right, Davy Jones. <laughs> Three days. One hundred souls. <sighs> yeah, that's uh, that's the vibe of the paying back of the thing. Luckily, the overdraft is allowed up to uh, two hundred grand. So it's five o'clock somewhere. Hey, that's where the limes are flying, my man. Plenty sticks. I use DaVinci Resolve. 
it's uh, pretty powerful and it's free. I want to get that postal train working. <laughs> Credit rating has gone down. It's fine. Water level's not doing good. I keep your American. 99 swords to go. <laughs> uh, I love those movies. Having too much fun with it. City Hall requires coal or 17 carriages in 508 days. That's easy. That's literally easy money, actually. What train do we have that is hauling coal? Train one that is dying. Lordy. Okay. Uh, we're going to have you stop in Waco and unload in Waco. But you're also going to need to go and go for service. But there's no servicing location in Waco. Brilliant. This engine still hasn't paid for itself yet? Lordy. Please. Please continue making money. <laughs> oh, Andrew, you got a Legrand. That's cool. There's, uh, there's some neat railroad head that way. I've driven past that... Um, driven through the Grand a bunch of times on my times back and forth between Colorado and uh, it looks like some steep railroad out of there over I don't know what pass it is but watching it along the roadway it looks like it's a, a bit of a climb the bars don't close for another hour here well it depends on when the bars close right okay yeah there 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 went the <laughs> there went the bond hey but we can get another one now only 110 grand in the hole. But now we can get a bigger one. Yay, look at that. Look, we're in the black. And then someone's going to say that's not how that works. And that's eh, fine. Okay. And... We're going to buy another Jervis. That's going to haul mail. It's going to haul the mail. That's it. This is one of my favorite songs from the... Birds online soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, it's very early in the land of the two footers. What are you doing up still? Man, we are not utilizing all of the What? Oh Okay. <laughs> no god dang it. <laughs> so yes, it does immediately fire you. If you run out of water. That scenario sucks. Ugh. Alright, chat. What do you think? Derail Valley or try it again? I'll leave it up to you. I can even make a poll. Here comes the pull. The, the people probably want the pee cups, but we'll see. This game's fun. Yeah, click click the pull. The pull is up. Rare Tycoon 3 stream one. The Rare Tycoon 3 video is done very poorly. I think it makes a great stream with the guys, but the, uh... Yeah, the, uh... <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is, uh, I don't know how many, 48 votes. Okay, yeah, that's overwhelmingly towards Dero Valley. Let's do that. Give me a minute to get that all booted up and loaded. Let's get it going. If anyone has any questions or anything like that while we wait, let me know. Dero Valley, there it is. Playing on VR version. Here we go. Oh, you work at a one of the Rio Grande Pacific companies. Okay. Cool. Twenty one miles of short line. That sounds like your own personal slice of hell. How much of a chain pain is it to change steam boilers? 
Changing boilers sucks. There's a reason that we didn't do it, because we weren't insane like the people in Britain. We also had, like, large locomotives. Zach will be playing lo locomotion again. Yeah, um, Ellis... Oh, shoot, I was actually supposed to contact him about filming today. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> oh, you work nights, gotcha. Can I make the, <laughs> the locomotive in Deer Hall Valley Somersault? We might try. How do I get into museum railroading? Uh, you just show up and work. Say yes, I'd like to volunteer and then promise to get dirty and then do the thing. <laughs> Time to leave cabooses in the foul. It's my preferred style of shift knob. You know, I don't really have one. I've got a Hearst ball shifter on my GTO. That's what it came with. Um, and I like it, but... I don't have, like, I've never gotten to experience a T-handle or anything else. My, my preferred shifter is a, uh, a manual one, so. Oh, God, that's right. I added a lot more mods since last time I played, and I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how they work. <laughs> I added procedural sky and um, the uh, day-night cycle and all that, so. Oh, cool, CR7966. I've, I've done about two and a half years, and that's that's that. And Keenan Bolin, thank you so much for joining the SD train crew. I know I have a black screen. Um, Deer Isle Valley is not quite booted up yet. Not booted up enough to show anything, at least. I don't know if something's messed up with the uh, with the screen or if it just hasn't seen enough frames yet. How can you get a license to drive a steam train? They don't really have those. Those aren't a thing. All right. Oh God. It's dark. It's, oh my goodness. It is dark and uh, this is not what I am used to. This is spooky. Wow, okay. You can see that I haven't played since my last video. I literally shut the train off and that was that. But yeah, this is uh, nighttime DRL Valley. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, the, the sky looks great. Wow, that's... That is awesome. Well, we're going to ruminate on what to do here in the valley. I'm going to have to take a quick break real quick go use the restroom and then uh and then we'll see about ruining something I'll stare at the sky make a good screensaver for you in the meantime Let's see. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. Yeah, and the, these are mods out the butt. Uh, these, this is my list of mods these days, by the way. Take screenshots. All right. Well, let's see. What's our, uh, what's our status these days? We got 50 grand cash. Come over to the uh, the office here, and we have <laughs> fees out the wazoo to the tune of probably almost the copay. So it sounds like we could blow stuff up for free, which is always good. 
But we'll pay the most expensive fee we can, I guess. And I still have 7,500. And yeah, we could pay this guy as well. Okay. Now our lowest fee is 1984. We don't have that. Okay. Is there anything fun in here? Not really. Where shall we go? The stream didn't render the text on the wallet, really? Oh, it was hard to see when it was outside. It was kind of weird. It's kind of alpha-y. I can barely make it out. But probably easier on my monitor, full screen and all that than on stream. So uh, I'm going to edit my stream description here. Yeah, no, the, the, the skies and the... That's all fun. It's a lot of fun. All right. So, let's see. What sounds fun? Um, do we continue ignoring the fact that there's a forest and sawmill thing that exists because no one cares? I don't have enough of the good military licenses to make it worth it. So, maybe we'll go to the iron ore mine, maybe. Let's see what's up over there. Alright. God, it is fun and spooky with the uh, the night lighting here. Looks like we got a bunch of heavy ass crap rounds. <laughs> and some of the uh, the new hopper cars that I downloaded. I've got so many different modded uh, cars. These are I think these are hoppers made by Dylan VA, I think. I can't remember. He's made a bunch of great American looking rolling stock. But we are stuck with cursed Russian knuckles here at the moment. Can we fix that? Can we not have cursed Russian knuckles? Yeah, 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 yeah. Please give me the... <laughs> give me the AARs or give me death. Oh. Well, maybe I have to... We'll, we'll run away real quick. Are we far enough away? Can we go far enough away? Maybe not. Doesn't look like it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, now we'll turn around. It's probably a kilometer away, right? It's our adventure across into the forest. All right, now we come back to town. And hopefully the cars have reloaded with real knuckles. Well, no. No, they have not. Oh, actually... <laughs> they, they, they have... But they just have both overlaid on top of each other, because why be cursed when you can be extra cursed? <laughs> oh god, and it recognizes both of them. Oh. 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 Zybok. Can I, can we? <laughs> we, we broke, we've broken the couplers mod. Okay, you know what everyone <laughs> in the interest of being able to make the stream actually function We're gonna restart the game <laughs> Oopsie yeah, so uh, we're gonna relaunch real quick if uh, if anyone has questions, let me know um, I guess I can uh, do a thing while we wait here oh I no longer have a webcam capture anymore. Why is that? Oh god, but that means you're going to be able to see my uh, my crazy messed up hair. <laughs> Still uh, all over the place from the, the gig last night. So, But yeah, if you guys have any questions uh, while we launch up Deer Elm Valley again, let me know. No webcam moment. Here we are. Webcam stream. I'm here. It's, uh, though it's weirdly clipped. Uh, it's... What it... 
what's the term? It's not clipped. It's uh, it's cropped. Yeah. Oh, the gig was the gig was great, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm still dead today. It's just you always feel like you're in a car accident the day after. So. Yeah. Mm, guitar face. There were there were many guitar faces had. I've yet to see a uh, a guitar face picture from the uh, from the show. There's only been one really good um, picture that I've seen of us playing. That was like a pro pick. Yet we haven't gotten pictures back from the photographers that were there. Let me look up. Uh, grab a picture while Dero Valley's loading. The funny thing is, we actually played the um, we played the song that's in the Rarids Online soundtrack last night. It's funny. Let's see, open image. Yeah, we'll show this. So, monitor one, bang. Yeah, that was a little fun. A little, little bit of fun was had. That was a great picture. But <laughs> All right, how's the D-Rail Valley doing? It looks like it has woken up, so we'll get back to it. You're a fan of Hellbot before you found my YouTube. You're, you're one of few. That, that's kind of impressive, actually. That's fun. And look, we have normal knuckles. Okay, good. Hooray. What's my opinion on using a... Oh, no, I still have my webcam up over DV. We want DRL Valley. Oopsie. There we go. Yes, knuckles. Okay. Using a mic stand as a webcam holder? I mean, if, if it's the stand you got, it's the stand you got, man. That's that's what I would tell you. Dallin, that is the serious truth. Any chances of coming to the Visit the Land of the Two-Footers? Uh, that would be great. We'll have to figure that out. I mean, you know, once I get back from uh, my move to Colorado and all that and figure all that stuff out, we can start sussing out trips and stuff and filming and whatever. The band is called Hellbot. Marty's music for guitar tutorials. Oh, Marty's great, man. I, I haven't watched him too much, but I've seen him around and he keeps popping up in videos. All right, it looks like we have halls to the iron ore, or to the steel mill. 700 tons, 258 tons, 430 tons. So we could put together a... Uh, 1,300 ton train? Am I doing math? No. Like 1,500 ton train. Okay. We're going to need a couple engines, but... A stream where we can talk about a game that, you, that we can't see. Oh, God, these bulkhead flats look great, too. Those are fun. We have a single DE6. And it's Rio Grande paint. Looks really weird in the night, but that's fine. I don't think the DE6, one DE6 will be enough for all that tonnage. It might. Eh, you know what? Put it on its knees. Why not? Run at night here. Let's see. Bang, bang, bang. All right. Um, so it is the, the 15, the 49, and the 71. Presumably it's all the loaded cars. There's the 71 for the B3. 49 for the B3. <laughs> They're all going to the B3. All right, knuckle into all the crap and don't care what order it's in. 10-4. <laughs> Understood. All right, let's fire this thing up here. Breakers, breakers, breakers. Throw the switch. Bangy. The five gauge locomotives? I don't know what you mean. If the people in the office says it can do it, it can. Dude, come on. Don't you know that the people in the office know everything the best? All right, let's get some lights on because that matters now. And we'll be cool kids and we will not have our cab light. We'll just have our gauge lights on. All right. Oh, we've been blessed with the stupid poop horn. <laughs> All right, so I guess we've got one cut of cars in there. Let's get our switches. And we'll just run far enough forward that we can 
grab the other switch here. Oh, we have no MR pressure yet, so we have no independent brake yet. We haven't run yet enough. That was funny. The cab lights are actually the headlights. Oh, dang it. Yeah, no, you're actually correct. Yes, the cab lights are the headlights. So I guess we will be nerds and run with our cab light on. This is fun. Man, this, this adds a whole vibe to the game. And we got marker lights, presumably, on this side. Or is the red just a red? Okay, whatever. Not sure what the red glow is. We'll set up the air here a little bit. Bang into these cars. That, oh, hey, perfect. Get in between the moving equipment because it saves time, not safety. There we go, air's cut in. Just pull through it. Come on, don't be a wuss. Oh, the red is the middle light. That's but kind of weird, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Where was my three step? Eh, this is Derail Valley, my man, on the ES and D. And it smells like Kenosha's playing in the background if you didn't hear, so I mean what what's the point? the switch ramming speed yeah ah oh, yes Kenosha continue stopping please <laughs> oh god turn off the PTSD machine <laughs> air is connected legs are mangled accurate got the windows open it's a little stuffy in here I guess we should probably pair our re remote. Oh, I gotta turn it on first. Pair it. Okay. <laughs> now, now what'll be hilarious? I know these are the remotes are solar powered. Um, if they simulated the, the fact that the battery no longer charges when the sun is down. I'm, I'm going to giggle a lot, but I feel like they probably didn't. Osha, oh, didn't she break up the Beatles? No, that was oh no, but yes. Couple at 13, right? Just put it in power, it's fine. I'm already complaining about three-step protection. That car is not mangled. That car is not mangled. And uh, in the quick gap, while it's barely moving, you hop in and set up the air. And then you teleport in place and then cut it in just magically. And then end up being on top of the knuckles when they do things. Oh, that's right. Cutting in the air like immediately kills your brake pipe pressure for reasons. All right, we got the cut up there pulling away. It looks great with the headlights. This is gonna be a heavy train. 
Oh, and we are going to get some uh, some amount of skinned cars. Yeah, we've got some Sioux line and <laughs> other fun skins that I've downloaded. Just adding a little bit more flavor to the game. Yes, I'm using a mod for nighttime. This is not stock. I My DRL Valley is more modded than not anymore. Get me my remote, please. There we go. No. Just slam on the independent, because that's good train handling. Put the beans to it in reverse. We'll figure it out. Throw the switch. That switch is already lined. It's a bummer we didn't get more of these hoppers. These hoppers are... Really nice looking, honestly. I like the look of these a lot better than these big giant ones, but. Night, Aiden. I am very excited for the d Valley Simulator update. I'll we'll just have to see. <laughs> Review 2016, if I, was, if I was honest, I came up with the name ESD when I was really inebriated one night. And I was trying to think of the funniest thing that I could put on the side of a tender in Armagon's beautifully modeled uh, fonts. <laughs> and that's what came to mind. <laughs> and uh, we just sort of stuck with it. I managed to slow the train pretty significantly here. Come on. Pretty good speed there. Train brake, am I a joke to you? It's fine, standing on the knuckle. That's not against the rules. Bang. All right, cut the air in and it'll immediately stop. Bang, all right. And now, actually we don't even need, we don't even get in the cab, what are we doing? Put it in forwards, brakes are off, put it in run eight, and then turn the sand on. And then uh, we find the station office and go turn these jobs in. And, uh, I guess, turn the job overviews in. And see if we can't make the bonus. Alright, here we go. And the train is somewhat moving. This is a lot of tonnage. We have 688, so almost 700 tons. 258, that'll put us like, I don't know, like 1040-ish tons. And then another 430, so we're, we're at like a good 1500 tons. I think that's actually over tonnage for this engine. I think, it, I wanna say the DE6 is only good for about 1600. So we might have to get a run at this, but we'll see. Give it the beans, yes. Need some nighttime explodey boys action, right? Electric, electric steam and diesel, no. Although that's uh, it's actually a fun uh, companion uh, name, but no. 1370? 1376. Oh, so we're just under tonnage then. All right. Well, look at that. All right. 1376. Sweet. It's only good for 1400. Well, we got 24. And yeah, it's just walking away up this grade in notch eight. But it wheel slips no matter what. And it doesn't have an automatic sand relay, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Turn off the lights for extra power. Boom. Oh, to be fair, the headlights 
There are just the headlights, but they're also a light in the cab. Which is a vibe. And all of a sudden we're doing 70, so. <laughs> and we have a 70 coming up. Now we're doing 80. We must be going downhill. The speed is climbing rapidly. Oh, well. Could have guessed that was going to happen when <laughs> I said that the speed was climbing rapidly. <laughs> no, that hopper car is all over the place. It's fine. The knuckles are hanging on. I promise I'm still coupled, boss. <laughs> let's, um, yeah, let's, uh. Insufficient funds? Wait, do I. I have $507 and it won't... Oh, it's $545. Well, that just sucks. Um, and I don't have the funds to clear it. Oh, and look, it's becoming daytime. Well, that's fine. Okay, well, I guess we just run with the derailed car and see what happens. Sounds good. All right. Just kick that off. Send it into notch eight, do the thing, come on, that's probably not going to go, um, did it break our brake pipe? No, everything's in release. The reservoirs aren't enough, though. We didn't pop any hoses. The diesel in notch eight isn't enough to move this car that's derailed. Come on, game. Well, that's just maddeningly unhelpful. Um... So, I see the uh, recommendations for more power, and I just, I just think that that is the answer here. So, do we have, what options do I have? Well, we could add the cursedness. Let's add some cursed stuff in here, shall we? Oh, of course, those are trying to run away now. Oh, God. The textures on this are awful inside. I forgot. Click, 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 please. Load, load me up in reverse. Let's go get the, let's go get the rest of the train here. Do these have MU set up? Oh god, they couple like properly, m modernly close, which makes this really, really difficult. There we are. There we go. A couple GP40s ought to do it. Not that fast. Come on, slow down. Oh boy. That's fine. That's fine. All right. <laughs> Come on, pull through it. What's an emergency? Come on. Get these hoses laced up. Get this laced up. It's beeping like something's broken other than the glass. It's fine. <laughs> hey, it's only 73%. Come on. 
And the air is still hooked up there. Oh, we kicked the rest of the train. I see. All right. Well, if you can't move these cars with three diesel locomotives. Really? This one shut down. Let's get all of these online, shall we? Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Get that laced up with that. Get that laced up with that. And they immediately shut off. It's fine. Okay, we have five locomotives here. We have like 10,000 horsepower at least. And we can't move this one derailed car. Are you crapping me? Options. There's no options. All right. Well, this means war. Somebody be ready to clip this, I suppose. Oh, we've had the had the automatic in emergency the whole time. The brakes have just been stuck on. It's fine. Well, this still means war. It's fine. They were trying to load both of them, but. All right, I can't re-rail it because I don't have the money for it. Pee in the cup, Ashley. Yeah, I mean, that's probably fair. All right, well, that's run eight. That's sand. And we call this the iron ore car punter. One would hope. to hit it a, a second time, I guess. <laughs> Beans! Beans! Now go away or she'll taunt you a second time. All right, now that's out. That's out of the way. All right, I should be able to grab that other one. Service engine. It's not just been used as a battering ram. It's fine. Yeah, I guess we could take this one offline, huh? Did we make the hook back here? Ready? Bang! There we go. Do one of those, hook it up. All right, hooked up, hooked up. Guess we'll run from the lead SD40, GP40. All right, back on the railroad here.
Why is this thing all pissed off still? Do we have another brake pipe? It's... Oh, hang on. Are th These may not be compatible with Zybox mods. Or we're not piping brake pipe back all the way. Which we look like we are. Oh, probably because they used it as a battering ram. Well, I mean, you know. Just going to wander across bleeding brake valves and seeing what happens. It seems to be mostly working. Though they are all setting back up. But now they're working. All right. Well, to hell with you, buddy. And I should probably get on my five engine masterpiece and uh, squeeze some amount of air back on. Oh, we got a 70. Never mind. Yeah, remember when I was telling you about how I was going to get you uh, some uh, <laughs> to, to make fun of you in last stream? This is what I was getting at. Oh god, the sounds don't work for the uh, for these. Oh, this is the way we're gonna go though. All right. Yeah, I just, like, dumped the automatic and the train did all sorts of stuff because the automatic does not make any sound as you move it in this engine. The first time I had these models load up, though, they looked a lot worse than this, so... At least this looks vaguely okay. The cab kind of sucks, but... Yeah, I, w I don't know if I'd want to run this in... I thought about doing a video on it, and I looked in the cab and I was like, yeah, it kind of looks like crap. And then, yeah, the exterior model is okay, but the, the whole thing looks kind of, eh. Let's, uh, let's get some air set up, shall we? This is going to end well. The seat's far too big. Unfortunately, that's actually kind of how they are. <laughs> like, that's actually a thing on the EMDs is like, oh yeah, <laughs> there's no space between the seat and the control stand, but it's better than what you can make in Blender so you won't knock it. I don't know, Wings. You gotta remember that this is all ported from the uh, the Dero Valley default engine, and then everything else is modeled by someone. So the seat was modeled by someone, but the the control stand is default to the game. So, but that's fair to not knock. I appreciate that too. High ball and get the cups ready. Indeed, got a sixty. All right, we're going less than sixty. Do you have to warm the cup in advance? Seems a little excessive. Oh, the amp gauge works on this one. Not sure what mod I had that made the amp gauge work. Maybe it's just on this one, actually. But I know the amps don't work on the the regular one. Pretty sure it's 40 through here. And I'm just highballing it at 60. Okay, it's fine. I'm still fine. We'll just pull through that emergency set. Really playing the accordion with the train.
to real railroads have so many curves? Some of them. Not quite like this typically, but. Oh, something's derailed back there. <laughs> the, the derail force has hit 101 in one of the rear cars. And, oh. Is the rear of the train dumped? I think the rear of the train's dumped. I think we got the horsepower to pull through it, though. No, we don't. We definitely don't. Cool. What did we do? Which weak link ruined us? Well, it would seem to be that one that is no longer with us. Looks down at car down mountainside. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's, uh, that's future us's problem. We probably shouldn't have left the, uh, the engine in. The engines did not shade up there. That's, uh... Should probably go get back to those. Oh, I guess. Well, it's fine. That <laughs> was worth, worth a couple peek ups. <laughs> oh, thankfully that we're just grinding the rail here. There's no sand button in this choo choo, or it's blocked by the armrest. Yeah. So you can't even put it in a. Without, that's kind of poor modeling, whatever. Yes, thank you for the pee cups. That was worth a pee cup and a half. Definitely not making much money on this, no. Especially considering I think we threw the uh, time bonus out the window, probably. Cars like trees. That's a, that's a vibe. Gotta restore the environment, you know. Let's take a nice big meaty set here. So we're gonna run into that tree. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure that tunnel portal that we yeeted the car at is on our alignment. So I guess we'll see if we run through the car again or if it despawns. That'll be hilarious. Running it like the real deal slow. Well, that's kind of what's going on. And it is 10.53 over here right now. 10.53 p.m. Or uh, 22.53 for you military time folks. Yeah, we don't have enough locos, do we? <laughs> We've got <laughs> GP40s out the butt coming out of this thing. No time bonus in two cars are gone. It's three jobs. So we're only missing a car from the last job and the first job. So depending on how we set this up, we'll, I mean, we'll see. We, we might we might only get $13,000 out of it, but you know, that'd be some amount of money. Is the the model of the DE6 just really short? Or is the locomotive really that short IRL? Compared to the, the GP40, that's what I'm wondering. Alright, well no car that we're going to run into here, that's good.
We're gonna dump the air for the. Oh, yep, yeah, that's. I forgot about the uh, speed limit thing. That's fine. That locomotive was just not necessary for progress. So we'll just, you know, do that, put it to eight. Thumbnail material, right? Everything's in emergency. Still, I'll just bleed all the brake cylinders. As far as I can go, apparently. How <laughs> they get the peacups? Peacups! We'll just, uh. We'll just, uh, get rid of that one. It's never there. Why are these still setting up still? Brake pipes at two? Did we, did we pop a hose? Why are the engines trying to set up? Oh, because the front angle cock's open, idiot. Let's get run over by the train simulator 2020. There we go, 2022. All right, and thankfully we apparently ran far enough away that the, the poor wrecked train car despawned. Unless it was over by, no, there's no other tunnel, is there? All right, set up a little air early. Norfolk and Southern has just sent me a job app. Yeah, that sounds about right. Would the air like to do something? The train never recharged far enough to do anything. <laughs> so we're just relying on the independent brake, basically. Uh, let's put it in neutral and we'll just run the air compressor real quick. Howdy, Ragnar Adventures. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for being an ESD train crew member. We still haven't charged up the rear of the train that much. <laughs> the way you preheat the cups is just set them on the roof toaster when you go downhill. Love it. Yeah, for some reason the uh, the cars won't get to a full brake pipe, which is frustrating. Stickers coming, you have a supply of cups. Uh, there are stickers for sale with the merch. There's the ESD t shirt, there's an ESD sticker, there's the ESD mug, and then the, uh, the heist logo sticker and t shirt as well. Can you get this game for your Xbox? I think it's only uh, PC. There's ESMD t-shirts. They're on the shop page of the uh, of the YouTube channel. Yeah, all the UP engines are numbered 1526. It's not a dynamic number. It's just textured on. Let's 
Set switch, go to switch, go to switch, go to switch, go to switch. There it is. Bang. Got it. <laughs> Thank you, Bryce. Yeah, there's no dynamics on this or any of the other engines in Duo Battle. Sure, what part of speed limits we're in? We're coming up on the fast chunk of the map, and we've got enough power that we really should be able to uh, make something happen, even if the fourth unit's dead. We've got 80 coming up through here, and we're already doing 80, so I mean, just notch it up and what, watch what the back cars do. Give it the beans! Hang on, this is a 70, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll set up some brakes. It's probably a good call. Your old meter started flying off the charts there. It's fine. Now the beans! <laughs> Cheers, plenty of sticks. Nothing like a bunch of UP GP40s with buffers, all numbered the same thing, flying down the railroad. <laughs> with back face cold wipers, that's right. It's a little silly. Bean speed and power! We're running uh, most of three jobs. We've, we've lost two cars along the way, it's fine. If you're not accelerating or braking, you're losing time on the racetrack. So trains are similar, for sure. Yeah, that's definitely how we do things on the railroad. It's the fastest I've gotten some diesels up to, 105, 106. Yep, 110, there it is. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> well, the, the, the cars might make it to the job site. Oh man, we we threw that look across the river. <laughs> yeah, we're not making money on this stream, man. Jeez. <laughs> oh, like that curve doesn't look too bad you know so the funny thing is um spoilers for tomorrow's um serious thumbnail material right there pile of locomotives right that take that picture screenshotted um <laughs> for tomorrow's video i was playing uh train sim world and uh I, I found out just how glued on the track the uh the, the locomotives and cars really are and uh yeah uh, so I was used to like being like, oh yeah, you know we can run around that curve. It's fine. That's a that's a whole thing, right? Um, and so my mind was still stuck in that head, the, you know, that headspace, and uh, it's just not the case. So you're not supposed to throw your passengers in the lake. Well, that's stupid. Well, I guess we got to leave the DE6 and that in the lake there. That's fine. Oh, and now I'm trapped inside of it. Um, can we get the rest of the way there? We're close. <laughs> uh, where's the spawner? Let's see. Comms radio. Spawn. What do we want? Uh, those GP40s are kind of cursed. H24? Oh. No, that's the other kind of hopper. So we would like to clear that. Spawner. Class A. We don't want the German stuff. We don't want to wait for stuff to steam up. Mm -hmm. 
so many options. I'm not able to spawn one of the engines I thought I was going to be able to spawn. Interesting. Okay. We'll have to look into that for next time, but I guess for now, bang! Have another diesel that's facing the wrong direction. All right. Let's pop the cabinet open. Fire it up. Ba ding 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 There we go. And for the millionth time on video, this is not where the lathe shaft is. Put it in reverse. Give it the beans. Did it automatically hook the air up? Look at that, it did. Very nice. But the train's still dumped, so we'll just do one of these. <laughs> the Fallen. Remember the Fallen. Give her the beans! Yeah, we're gonna run it long head forward, just because I don't feel like dealing with that. There is a hand car. I've not actually used it. I didn't realize that I could spawn it till just recently, though. Long head forward, not even once. sure what that horn is, so it makes me giggle every time. <laughs> How long has the job taken? A literal day. It has become night once again. I haven't messed with Light Sniper yet but it's recommended to me as a, oh, an addition for this. We have floodlights and things, lamp post. Well, that's fun. Oh. Well, that'll be cool to mess with. Finally coming into the steel mill, I suppose we should line ourselves into the B3 <laughs> to our very late arrival. B3 is going to be on this side. Nope, not that side. The B3, B3 is the only track we ever run into, so we'll just continue doing that. Yeah, day uh, day night cycles and lot in here. Yeah, it's five or six. Five or six derails so far. <laughs> Gotta love the peacups, man. dump the air so that hopefully things will all end up staying on the track and then theoretically we can just delete this locomotive because we spawned it bang no money <laughs> we didn't spend any money 
<laughs> Other than the money of the locomotives we destroyed and cars we destroyed, it's fine. Complete. 29,000. Alright. I don't know if it was actually 29,000. Some car is derailed. Eh, well, that's not happening. Sorry. So, bye bye. Oh, it looks like we actually only derailed stuff from the, uh, the shorter jobs. So that's. That's actually brilliant. Holy crap, and we made the time bonus? Wow. Well, look at that. We'll take that. We'll take that money and run. And uh, the fees. Wait, why did my copay go up? My copay went up to 640000 What? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck in this uh, this debt pit for a minute. Well, I think the secret to making money is um bloody boys at this point so oil well central Let's see what's going on there maybe we're starting fresh but look at this train of lovely tank cars we have and the explodey boys Nighttime explodey boys. They're awfully shiny. I don't know why they're so shiny. I don't know why most of the things are so shiny at night. It's kind of weird. It's some mapping thing, probably. Anyway, what do we have going on here? Shunting with crude oil, but they're listed as boxcars? That's weird. Got crude, crude to harbor, two to factory in town. The two crude jobs to harbor are like a hundred grand together without the bonus. All right, it's the 24 and the 67. That ought to be doable. Here's the 24. Here's the 67. So it's these two this right here. One's going to the G yard, one's going to the E yard. Doesn't really matter which um, which one's which. Uh, I guess with we'll the boys right behind me. Um, there's probably a locomotive over there, but you know what? We can spawn locomotives for free. And given the amount of crap that we have to get through to finish, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. I think. How do I change the direction again? There we go. Tender. Spawner and Loco Steam Heavy. Bang. And we won't live for this skin, so we will go with. There we go. Oh, God. no, 464 hated us. We can't do that. Make it the UP one. And hang on, let's, uh, let's make things pretty. Yard lamp, yes. Oops, made two. Well, that's fun. I think I accidentally made one in the floor there, but. That's really cool. Did Zybox Steam Mod spawn this with pressure? Oh, yes, it did. Sick. Coal in the hole. All right. Lighter. Get the blower rolling. God, that's awful. Uh, 
Uh, what other options do we have? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I... Did I replace the Southern 3 with my whistle? I didn't replace it with my whistle, but I replaced it with a Santa Fe 6. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, that's um Yeah, we 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 enjoy that. Let's see. Okay. You got the coal there. Uh let's see. All right. Are we knuckled in? Uh it doesn't look like we're actually knuckled, but we are able to put the air in. So let's back this thing up. Come on. Come on. Did that joint make? Oh yeah, it did. The accordion said so. All right. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> Pull this out of the uh, the hole here and see about. Oh God! You can tell that we uh we pulled out from where our yard lights were. <laughs> yeah, you really you really kind of need that light sniper if you're gonna run at night too much, huh? You almost. I mean, it's almost more for like setting up screenshots. Those are cute. The boys. Give them the beans! I, yeah, I need to get a good recording of the six chime. I don't know if I have any good ones from my last trip, but when I move back, you know, I'm gonna be badgering the guys to put it on all the time, so we'll see. There's a light switch on the other side, but that's right. There is, because it doesn't make any sense for it to be there, but it is there. Alright. Let's go knuckle into Dylan VA's very nice looking uh, American tank cars that are not Explody Boys, but I do believe they have some fun skins. Where's the comms radio? There we go. Reskin. Explode. Explode fuels. That's, that's pretty good. Alright. We started to make some amount of seams, perhaps. Yeah, I love that. Keep that nice and nice and tidy here. seems that it does have a cab light of some variety. That it's mostly actually the firebox glow being a thing and then applying light from the headlight. Well, that looks freaking cool. 
More thumbnail material, shoot. Also, how close are we to that other exploding consist that we're shoving towards? Oh, kind of close? Okay, forgot about that for a minute. It's fine. But apparently, stormy weather is a thing because it's raining right now. It's part of the procedural skies, I suppose? Blocking the raid crossing, I know. Come on, sweetheart. And it's not even raining in the cab. Look at that. Well executed. Oh, it's showing that the other consist is in release. But it has no air, which means we've knuckled in and we didn't cause an explosion. So Dickless doesn't need to turn off the power grid. Is that how that works? There we go. Oh, sweet. Yeah, and Dylan V.A.'s coupler cars don't have, they don't have buffers. Oh my God, it looks normal. Praise be. All right. Well, I think uh, I think we'll let the air recharge, and then we'll get this thing headed out of town, and we'll give a big meaty grade crossing, and then we'll go turn the jobs in. Actually, no, shoot, we've got um, I've got fees to pay. We'll pay the fees first so that it makes it easy to uh, head out of town. Forty-three thousand dollars. So we got a forty thousand, forty-one thousand dollar fee to pay. And now I've got less than... Okay, so we should be able to turn the jobs when the time comes. Trains put together. Alright. Oh, we got plenty of water. Not sure how that happened. It's fine. Let's get the, uh, get the coal up to the point where the oxygen availability starts to disappear. Apparently you can just load the thing up no matter what, It's fun. About to give it the beans. We're running this consist like it's the last score of TP on the roll. Just about. All right, well here we go. How's that for an extroverted? We're leaving. Let's go turn those jobs in, or turn the job cards in. Let's make sure that we are making money happen. Boop, and boop. <laughs> How many cars is this darn thing? 30 cars a hazmat? All right, that's fine. Probably shut the blower off now. Kills the combustion efficiency. We're not drafting hard enough, really? Here we are making pressure. We got water. Here we go. Sounds like 3751. It does, doesn't it? Because it's Santa Fe 6.
Now this is a vibe. Nighttime, steam engine, wings and strings is music playing in the background. 30 cars a hazmat, headlight, Santa Fe six chime. It's pretty good. And the Explody Boys are back in town. The whistles all for it. It's the new Santa Fe Loco that was just restored. I think it's the 2926. Though they haven't really run it yet, so I don't know if they're done being restored. I'm not sure how they're, uh, if they're there yet. Doing 50, that's plenty through this. This is live, hey Sushi Fox, yeah. Jutnik, welcome, thank you for joining the SD train crew by being a conductor. For those of you that aren't aware, there is a couple different tiers of subscription that you can do on the channel. Joining the channel by being a member helps support me monetarily, which helps a ton for what I'm doing here. And I really appreciate it. And you guys get some sweet perks, like all the little emojis everyone's been showing, so. I know it ran under some power, but yeah, just back and forth at the shop, so I didn't know if it were steam tests or if it was like, oh, it's done and it's ready, kind of stuff, so. All right, we got a 50, so let's, uh, slow down shall we let's not immediately put this train in the dirt beans give it the beans It is a spicy grade, yeah. Dumped too much air, I think, but it's okay. We haven't killed our pressure yet. Do need more coal in the hole, though. Damn the combustion efficiency, I just need the fire mass. Things making coal, making steam. We're in the corner with the, the throttle wide open right now. Uh, if you hit a hundred, it is a derail. So anything below a uh, hundred is not technically derail worthy. Oh come on! Don't be don't be a piece of crap. Give us everything you got, sweetheart. Oh god, it can only hold a 400 kilos. Okay. and power. More beans. It's giving it all the beans. <laughs> We're slogging it uphill in the rain right now. God, this, this, the procedural sky and the day-night cycle mod have really given this game just a whole new ethereal flavor. This is so cool. Now she's starting to speed up, so. We will continue to toss coal in the hole. But yeah, this is, this is like real steam railroading. The throttle is wide the hell open and we are in the corner. We cannot give it, and this is 
as wide open as the engine can be. And we're just walking up the grade, nice and slow, with huge tonnage behind us. How much tonnage is it? 644 tons out of the one job, 630 tons out of the other one. So what is that, 1,200, like almost 1,300 tons. Up a percent and some change grade. Just walk in with it, because it's less than our tractive force, so we can just do it. We're not gonna do it fast, but we could just make the grade and make it happen. You just can't lose it. Just gotta make sure fireman's on point, shovel in the coal, you know. Yeah, the vanilla steam locomotives, really frustrating. The, the, for, the original reason I stopped playing Dural Valley back years ago was because the original steam engine was such a fucking just lie. Having the steam pressure constantly decrease while the engine is moving so slowly to not have a valve event was I, just so absurdly wrong it was maddening, you know? I mean, it's one of those details that it's not easy for everyone to get or understand, but it's like, just think. I mean, it's not how it works at all. They happen here and there. Gotta keep it in the corner, apparently, still. It is pretty in here with the fire door open. Does it the light scale with the fire door? No, it doesn't. Still cool. I I am very happy with that six time recording. Just gotta get one that good with, with uh, my whistle. Recorded that this one off of 489 back when it still had its six time. And yes, hello whistle, it agrees. The chamber lengths in my whistle are actually the same as 489's Santa Fe 6. It's actually the uh, engine that I measured to make it happen, or my buddy measured, so. Any single chime whistles that are at least tolerable? Uh, the Norfolk and Western six chime is low enough pitch that it like works somewhat, I think, but still don't really care for it. And one of my favorite songs is playing in the background and we don't have uh, enough volume for it. I gotta fix that. Started over too. I'll challenge you on that, Bryce. And, and daylight is coming back. How fun.
Please don't go in the dirt. It's fine. Coming to the end of the speed section here. And we're gonna set up the air violently. Yep. Daytime. We're also going way too fast. Take a nice meaty set there. Not quite meaty enough, so we'll grab the independent and cry. Kick it all off and pull it wide open. They're simulating the uh, the smoke particles, or what is the disco effect that's going on everywhere? Is that the, the holes in the cloud? Just looks like a disco ball. <laughs> the whistle agrees. There's some stuff on uh, my, uh, some of my music is on Spotify under a couple different things, but this uh, specifically is not released yet, so. That's what I was going with, Ashley, thank you. Going with the power, even on though we're on downhill, it's fine. Lots of power now, lots of power. Get those 30 cars past the uh, the 40 here. Let's not have one of those boys at the back derail. They're thinking about it. Now yeah, they're not on the power. We got a 70, so we're gonna give it what we can. Slowdown coming up very quick here, so we're gonna put it in service and lag through probably a derailment. Yep. Yep, we lag through the derailment. Bang.
As much as I love Wings' uh, banjo solo, a little hard to hear me derailing over that, so. Uh, boy. All right. 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 We wanted to make that time bonus, and we're not going to. Um, it is going to be several grand to re-rail it. We do not have several grand. This is the life that we live. Um, you know what? I see no problems with doing... No, not tender. No. Oh, heavens. Well, that'll just happen. Steam heavy. Bang. We've got an ox tender. We're a very confused Rio Grande steam engine set up right now. Let's go. Should probably put a fire in this thing. I'm in the cups. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. Come on, boys. Release. C922 is listed as very derailed. Well, apparently the steam engine is capable of dragging a derailed thing, but the diesel isn't, so we'll just drag it. One ain't called stay on the tracks, Valley. Yeah, that's, that's the real take here, folks. Yeah, I mean, you know, just because we're confused. Whistle agrees we're confused. All right, that's about speed limit here. It's uh, not been anything further, shall we? Air, please. Set up the air. Please, thank you. All right. Where's your music at? Well, we turned the music off because it caused us to derail because we were jamming too hard to Wings' badassness. That's the that's the story I'm sticking to here. Our lead car's got to go to the G yard, so the first set that we would cut off the rear, or we could Dutch drop them. That sounds stupid. Do we try and Dutch drop them? Do we try and Dutch drop them? All right, I think we try and Dutch drop them. That sounds stupid. All right, so we're lined into E. And the 9i is... Actually, we're lined into the E9i. That's pretty spectacularly perfect.
Hop on these cars here. Cut the brakes out. Pop the coupler. And then we gotta pull ahead with this guy. And the whistle says, hell yeah. Go, please. This is gonna work. And then we'll make sure that this is lined in a second here. Presumably after it wrecks. All right. Line that switch. It's not that other switch, is it? No, that's the passenger yard. All right, so those are going. We should probably get back to the steam engine and make sure that we don't send it too hard. <laughs> the whistle's like, please, dear Christ, stop. All right, that's beautiful. Um, probably anywhere in there is good. All right, dump the air. All of it. Cool. And now we'll go figure out where the hell those other cars need to go. What car? Where do they need to go? They need to go to G something. We're aimed at... Oh, Christ, no, they're aimed at D something. We didn't line the switches fast enough, boys. Well, we'll just... Jesus, could you stop? Jesus, could you stop? Stop, stop, stop. Dump the air. All right. Well, we'll come grab those in a minute. <laughs> Where's the station? Where's the stage? Hello, Cleveland. The station's over here somewhere, isn't it? There it is. Jesus. All right. And then we need to turn in the job with the boys. That's not the boys. These are the boys. Oh, so those ones have the wrong thing. Is it not? What? Oh my god, I had the destinations backwards? Oh man, we are just really nailing it, but we got time. Okay, well, um... I guess let's recover the air and then uh, try this whole entire thing again, shall we? Coal in the hole, coal in the hole, coal in the hole, coal in the hole. <laughs> yeah, spawn a DE6 and shunt those, right? I'm busy trying to run a steam engine out of steam. We're gonna get that marching back out the yard this way. Go through the switch. What the hell car cut is it? G5, I. G5, I is this track right here. Which we're almost lined for. So now we're lined for the G5, I. <laughs> if we're feeling really brave, we could dutch those and then knuckle into those in one move. That sounds like a hilarious idea. Let's try that. Let's see how much we trust our skills here. <laughs> the whistle's like, yes, I like danger. All right. We can come out of the corner in reverse. Alright. That is to the passenger station. And then this is the GD yard that we goofed up on. So we'll set things up.
That felt productive. All right. Line the switch, and now the stupidest maneuver that we will do today begins. Gotta get going fast enough that the cars roll all the way to their destination, but slow enough that we don't crash into the other explodey boys. And I think this is actually a pretty good speed right now. So we do that, unknuckle, poop, the hoses pop, and we accelerate to get past them. Oh, this is gonna get spicy really fast. All right, set up the air. Oh, the air was set up. Ah! No. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We knew this was a potential outcome. <laughs> Me and the boys are just gonna ride through this and watch it happen. Don't mind us. We're just passing through. We're just, uh, don't mind us. You know, just keep the fires in the gauge, not on the tanks. Just, yeah, that's, um, yep, yep. The peacups are well warranted, I think. I think we knew this was going to happen, but, you know, it's fine. No, not this train! <laughs> no, you weren't supposed to start set on fire! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh god no. <laughs> oh lordy. Can we get up there? No, okay. That's it's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. No. 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 It's fine. Yeah, that's... <laughs> We're never going to financially recover from this. <laughs> oh, lordy. Come on, last couple. Do you not believe in... Oh, okay, well... Oh boy. Goodbye, my friend. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> oh my god. What a mess. <laughs> god, I, I love it when the physics yeets the cars up like that. It's great. I genuinely didn't think that these ones were going to blow up those ones. I thought we were going to sneak past just fine. But that's that. That's what we get when you try to Dutch drop explosive cars. I guess uh, we can close out for the night by looking at our fees now. Well, we kind of expected that would be coming. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> on that bombshell, on that explodey boy shell, that was an unintentional explode of the explodey boys. And uh, I'm going to be working on some explodey boys merch, by the way. So if that interests you, just let me know. <laughs> on that bombshell, it's time to end. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This has been a, a very fun stream. Uh, it'll make a great VOD, so... Appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll catch y'all next time. And uh, don't forget, uh, we're thinking about watching a movie tomorrow on the Discord, so make sure you're joined up on the Discord and uh, stay or pay attention to the announcements. Thanks.